Come one, come all, it's this week's Monkey Nut Punch podcast. I've got full house. She's awesome. How are we doing, guys? I think you come a little bit premature then. Did I come a little <laughs> prematurely? I never, I, have, I never have that problem normally. I make love like a game of football. 45 minutes is... Keep and recognise it really end. easily. What's it? <laughs> I was going to say, 45 minutes to end... Uh, oranges at half time. Sometimes we have to bring in a video replay to make sure that things have happened correctly. <laughs> anyway, um, we now we've got a full house. We're going to do 2021 in review. But I thought I would um, put a novel spin on this. So without further ado, I will introduce um, Keith from the K-Spot, who, who, who did a video recently on, I think it was Drones. Is it Drones Night he's into? Was it chess? No. Uh, it's droning on that he... Oh, he drones he on constantly. Ah, yeah, I remember now. Just I shot. have ah. to say, right, I have to say, making that video was a lot of fun for obvious reasons. But there is one thing that I... That, that I When I was... Because I did like this Airwolf thing, right? Now, Airwolf was in the 80s, right? And there's a transition. When 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 the original opening Airwolf credits happens, right, the, the, the Airwolf thing sort of zooms in and, 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 and there's a transition through that. That was really difficult to do now. How the, did they do that in the 80s? I mean, I, I have a serious respect for 1980s animators after that for doing that. Talent, video, talent, really. mate. It was, it was all it, talent. It, it took a lot of skill. Just one thing, I just want to say hi, Biffa, and you've got to admit, this week's Boba Fett episode was, was marginally better than last week's, as in... We will talk about that next week. We'll do a double. Yeah. We'll do a double We'll do a double one on that, and then we'll do the final of The Expanse. Yeah, because that gives me a chance to actually watch it. Yes. Fucking watch it. Season six has been awesome. I'm still concerned about how it's going to end, but God, has it been good. Remember, it's a bumper-long episode for the last one. It All better right. be. It has to be. Really nice. It's an hour. It's an hour twenty, I think. So, should be good. Two hours. Oh no, no, an hour twenty, not on two hours. Sorry. Anywho, um, night. Hey, boom. We haven't seen you in a while. Um, well, actually, I saw you on New Year's. That's a lie. But we haven't seen you on podcast for a while. How you been? Yeah, so what? Right. <laughs> Nothing. No different. I bought my dictionary for Christmas. He hasn't fucking used it. And <laughs> thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> Today, yeah, I, can now I will mostly be all say, right. It's okay. <laughs> all right. So, because we are doing our year in review, I've decided to implement something to help us. And I've been trying to do this with Nige, but we, we never got around to it. We have the Wheel of Topics. I went back through all our podcasts and I stripped out the bits that looked interesting and I put them on the wheel of topics. So what we'll do is I'm afraid you can, I will spin on your behalf, but I will spin and then I will start off one topic. Then Keith will spin and he'll start off another topic. Nige, so forth and so on. So this will be good. And hello, Dave. I haven't got the video <laughs> sorted for that. Hello, um, Dave. Yeah. So look, hello. <laughs> it's a nice wavy hand there. All right. So first topic is. Where would it stop? Nobody knows. Marvel's What If? All right, okay. Oh, there was actual sound of that as well. Yes. I'm trying to make it all razzmatazz sort of thing. Terrible for people listening on the podcast who've downloaded it, but who's watching gives you something. So, Marvel's What If? Hmm, that's an interesting one. So, um, it happened. <laughs> Did we, it was did definitely we talk a about thing. the final episodes because the final episode was like the big team up, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. the big it was, it was a big team up. Um, the big thing is, is that the what if episode with Stephen Strange looks like it's bleeding over into a multiverse of madness. Now, the first episode, oh god, the first episode, um, oh, first episode, Peggy Carter, okay, um. It hit all the bloody same beats as Captain America, and I didn't like it because it did. I was hoping it would hit different beats, if that made any sense. There would yeah. be arguments between the British government and the American government saying, oh, no, no, she's ours, no, no, she's ours, blah, 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 then sending her out to fight Hydra and, and bits. And then we had, um, what if T'Challa was a smug asshole in space? 
um, which I didn't appreciate, considering that was probably the last time we'll ever see um, Chadwick Boseman as he Black was Panther. better. He was better in the final. He wasn't I'm, as smug I'm, I'm in the working final. My, I'm working my way through. Um, and then we had we had we had another clusterfuck after that. What was the other one after that one? My brain stumped the information because it wasn't really worth it. But the long and short of it, it got to an episode when they had a mystery where superheroes were dying off. That one where Hank Pym was secretly murdering Marvel superheroes. Fantastic. Really enjoyed that one. That was a, a really good one. Um, and then we kind of it kind of went a bit wishy-washy. And then you had Marvel Zombies, which was good. Um, and then it got to the final. And then you had the Doctor Strange one that was also good. And then we got to the end one, which we didn't talk about. Um, the end one was the... The third, third one was the Hank Pym ultimate... killing off everyone. Ah, okay. Um, the fourth one was the Doctor Strange one. Then it was Marvel Zombies. Then it was the Killmonger one, which wasn't particularly great. Then it was the oh, Thor yes. one. And then it was that kind of um, Ultron fucking kills everybody. And then the final. Yes. Which was everyone to take out Ultron. It yeah. was... Um, it was interesting... Um, it could have been done a lot better. I think that the that Disney are cheaping out when it comes to writers. I think that's the big problem, is they are cheaping out because better writers could have done a lot more with that. But Hollywood's got a writing problem in general at the moment. But there, there was a couple of good ones in there. Um, and it's interesting that the Doctor Strange could very well be playing into the movie. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, it's a Sam Raimi movie, so it's either going to be really, really fucking good, or it's going to be really, really shit. Okay, Spider-Man uh, 2, Spider-Man 3. Um, but um, I, I hopefully it's going to be good. Um, I'm looking forward to that, partly because there's a rumoured Tobey Maguire cameo in it, which mm -hmm. would be kind of cool um, to see and him again. Andrew Garfield. <laughs> no, well, Andrew Garfield is rumoured to be cameoing in um, The Vampire. That's oh, on, Morbius. That, that, ah, right. Morbius one. There's hints that that's going to be, or it could be Tom Holland. On, on 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 a note, yeah, right. I I I say this. I didn't like Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker, and I nudge agrees with me on this one. He wasn't Peter Parker because Peter Parker is a nerd, and not cool. And that's the whole point of giving superpowers to someone who's a nerd, and not cool, and see what they do with it. See if they abuse those powers and whatnot, and if whether they be responsible for it. But Andrew Garfield as an actor and an ambassador for Spider Man. All the little clips I've seen from him online with people and surprising people at theme parks and just being nice to people in general. Real, real, amb real ambassador. I think he really loves the role. Um, he's a good Spider-Man, as Spider-Man is, because he's Spider-Man. He puts a suit on, becomes a Larry bastard because he can dodge bullets and all that sort of stuff. And I he think the, that I can understand why people really like Andrew Garfield, if that makes any sense. He, he had the most emotional role in Spider-Man 3. or he, he was the one that got me pretty much in tears um but I, I i think you're right i think i like him off screen a lot and i think he's right. genuine he was a yes. genuine spider-man fan yes. but marvel's okay. what if the first episode was fucking awful i'm sorry but it was just fucking dreadful but there we go okay all right so quick review of marvel's what if now we've stepped away from it okay so it's I can, good i can sum it up bad or ugh, it was okay <laughs> i'll take that i'll take that <laughs> And with that, time to pick our next topic. Ah! It's your one, Keith. <laughs> it was shit. I haven't seen it. it, it don't bother. Um... It's on. It's on Disney Plus, and I saw it on there, and I went, not fast, um, because it came out at the wrong time. I mean, if it came out prior to when she died if it was I... the one if it was the one directly before end game yes i can see but they put captain marvel instead i, I it... don't i don't see the point in even watching it uh, i might watch it if i'm really really bored and i'm watching it gives you it explains who the character is in um hawkeye but it wasn't a particularly good film um ray winston was tr was 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 really not used very well um What's her face as um oh what's her sorry. face? Her mother brain brain my brain no the end Melina uh, no um Lawrence Pugh 
No, the other one, the the girl, the the daughter. What? Who did she play? Sorry, my brain's gone dead. The girl, Spider Man. Well, he was a Spider Man baddie, but he was in this. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Red Guard. No. The, the mimic. No, oh, for God, my brain has just gone completely dead. This is his the, topic, and he can't fucking. Remember. The, the woman was play the daughter who who get who was misfigure and and he uses and she plays Taskmaster. Taskmaster. Sorry, my brain Anthony, is completely Anthony dead. Anthony Masters is the character's yeah. name, and Anthony Masters in the comic book is awesome, but in this mm. was some fucking four foot girl. Even though. Even though the stuntman put out pictures of him wearing the uniform, and you could see when he took the head helmet off, it was supposed to be a man. It was supposed to be the guy who supplies them with all the weapons, it, because it fits. It, because Taskmaster is a bloody mercenary. It makes all no good. sense how they where they put this film. They did it only for for um that's the name of the actress. Um, they did this only as a it was a blatant virtue signal and that was it because people have been having to go at them for years. Why hasn't Black Widow got her own movie? So they finally gave her a movie. They should have done it years ago if they yeah, actually cared about this. Hold shit. on a second. I'm more impressed with the fact that Bilf has remembered the name of the woman. <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's a blonde girl. She's a blonde girl and she's hot. Um or was. Um but uh uh, yeah, no, didn't like it. Sorry, I haven't got much okay, more yeah, to say no, about I, it. I didn't I did, really didn't I didn't enjoy like it. it. Um, I had a choice of having a phone call with Nigel or watching the film. I didn't call Nigel. I regret not having that phone call because that would have been <laughs> so much more entertaining and so much more enjoyable. Could you phone you phoned 20 minutes in, Nigel. If you'd have phoned five minutes in, I might have picked up about 20 minutes in and kind of committed. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, what is it? Oh, so, well, you've yes. made your choice. Oh, sorry. Just Black a bit. Black Widow is Vin Diesel's favourite MCU because it's about family. <laughs> I think on that bombshell, let's do another one. I think it's time to move on to our next one. Here we go. It's Nigel, you're going to leave this one? Yeah, yeah, I'm pushing the button. We've got... Good topic. Oh, oh, do you know what? Resident Alien. And do you know what that is actually, even though I didn't push the button, that's uh, uh, such a coincidence that because I actually introduced these guys to Resident Alien and season two is out shortly. Ooh. Um, it is out. Quick, just a quick one. Have you been watching the latest series of Dexter? Uh, New Blood. Yes. Yeah, I think there's only one episode left, isn't there? Yeah, there's only one episode left and it reminded me so much of Resident Alien when I'm watching it. Does, it does because he's in pretty much the same cabin. In the they're same situation, probably... but a serial killer rather than an alien. Yeah, and I think they're in the same town. I swear they filmed this in the same town. It looks very similar, yeah. like the setting. Um, but Resident Alien, very, very good. It's funny because he knows nothing about the way humans behave. He's there to kill the humans by dropping a bomb or whatever because they're, um, they're deemed by his, re- uh, I think it's his species, wherever they come from that they've deemed humans to be uh, getting a bit arrogant and um, not very going to kill the planet. Yeah, yeah. Not not worthy to be alive. So they want okay. to kill them like ants. So, All right. um, yeah, and it goes from there. He has no social skills. Uh, he, he arrives, he takes the body of some person who's a doctor, and uh, he he's sort of trying to feel in his way on how to be a human and sort of does it almost passes but yeah it's a bit yeah it, it's a bit funny because of that okay but right. worthwhile watch i think all right let's let's ask keith the, what did you think of the surprise of the year in my opinion yeah yeah i think it was very good because i mean I, I would call this a dramedy um because it, it has drama and it and and, and comedy um mm-hmm. it actually ended up being far more sort of drama in it than I thought it was going to be. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought, I, I think it's one of the highlights of this, uh, of 2021. Yeah, it was, Def- it was genuinely definite, good. Definite recommend. Okay. Yeah, definite. So. Back to you, G. Is, it's back my pick now. My get. Venom 2. Oh. I couldn't be, I couldn't be bothered to write Venom there. We can't age. It just took too long. Um, this was a, a silly, fun film that that lasted ninety minutes, with a funny bit at the end, and 
it's fair. I'll be honest with you. Ten years ago, I probably would have put my nose up at it. Yeah, but at the current situation, it's really needed. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I like Tom Hardy and Venom are fantastic. They're really funny. I watched it with my family on Christmas Day because we bought it on like um, video on demand, and we all sat down and watched it, and we all had a really good time. It's nothing earth shattering. You'll probably forget it, but it was enjoyable. And that's what I want from a film. Have you guys seen it? Yes. Would, would you be surprised to hear that I have not seen it? <gasps> Nigel. Shock I knew, me. I knew, I knew you would be surprised. <laughs> so we we went and watched uh, Venom, the first one, uh, in the cinema. Yes, in your we did. lovely Everyman, uh, really quality cinema. No, it's light. Um, Sorry, not Everyman. Everyman's on our one. It's similar, it's though, isn't it? Cinema. Yes. Um, and it was very, very good, very funny, lots of action, and that's exactly what I like. Um, if it's anything like that film, then I can't. I'd see say it's why funnier. I like... um, yeah, I actually think it is. A I think it's funnier. it's better yeah. than the first one. Okay. Um, I I enjoyed it. it I, I know what Gareth means by it. Um, I, I enjoyed Venom partying. Um, when he when he has oh, his tiff, dude. Right, hold the, on a second. Do you think with right? Hold hold on a second. Do you think that? That was a little sly jab at people coming out in public. Yes. Okay. Okay. But, um, <laughs> I I again at the closet in public. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They oh, took a little jab at it, as in the, as in. Oh, look at me! I am very special. Um, it, yes. It, yeah, but there's a lot of hints at that. Um, I, I thought that whole sort of tiff scene was really good. Um, I thought what's his face as um, Carnage was good. Mm -hmm. um, Naomi um, was so far as um, the other one was was a bit lost on me. Yeah, um, she seems to, she's rated as an actress, and I liked her kind of as Money Penny, but I've never really liked her in, in anything else I've ever really seen. She doesn't really stand out for me um but uh i mean you know you know eddie eddie was great in this um i i enjoyed it um i like the camera the sort of the little marvel sting at the end which then obviously follows on to the spider-man 3 sting which again yeah. really quite liked um yeah no it's a good it's an interesting character it's a shame that they're not bringing that combination into the MCU. You know, we're, we're going to get a Venom in the MCU, but not that combination because you, it works so well with Tom Hardy. Just a quick one. Have you seen the late, latest uh, Michael Morbius trailer? Yes. Where he gets this, he pushes the guy down on the ground and he goes, Rah, I'm Venom like that. And he goes, no, not really. <laughs> have you not seen that? No. Oh, I'll have to find it for you because it's just because I'm joking like that. And they talk about the inc incident in San Francisco. Um, Nige, if it's on video on demand or Netflix or Amazon, give it a watch. It's well worth your time. It is It is quite, I think it is quite forgettable. It's like lovely, fluffy sort of thing. But it's one of those things that you, you'll watch it and you won't feel like you've wasted your time. You'll have a good, you have a good bit, bit of a giggle and have some fun, which you kind of want with films. Um Du, 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 du. No, the upgraded upgrade in 2018 featured budget Tom Hardy, and we all know who budget Tom Hardy is. He was in bloody thingy. Um, so yes, we'll. I watched. Um, as I said, it's not. It's not. As I said, it's forgettable. It's not. Not great. I'm sure you didn't. I'm ashamed you didn't like it. Anyway, next topic, Keith. Your turn. What's he gonna get? What's he gonna get? <laughs> Oh, Keith gets controversy with Gina Carano being fired for the Mandalorian. Um, yeah. yeah, look, this pissed me off. Um, I, I do think... I don't think she should have been fired from a job. I think in, in a normal day and age, what she said was not wrong. But to Being act like right she didn't moment. think that that was going to make problems for her was oh hang on right no 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 hang on second Keith right this is this is when I, I I will I will tastefully disagree with you there are comic book creators that work for Marvel slash Disney 
who actively insult their fans, promote racism and horrible, oh, horrible with things, you. and nothing happens to these people. Because they, it is done under the under the banner of um, how do I call uh, what do I call it under this wokeness that 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 is perceived, even though it's not, um, is perceived as being virtuous, right? Even mm. though it's a load of bollocks, right? Yeah. But but I don't know. I, it sounds like I'm defending these people, and I'm not. I I, I think I she came across as slightly naive, and then and then afterwards, I mean, who's that bloody Jewish outspoken Ben Shapiro? Shapiro be, appearing on his show was possibly not the wisest of things. No, but... no, no, no. Uh, no, hang on a second. She got a bloody job out of that. You know that, don't you? She's yes, making her own films, and she's gone from making what like fifty grand for an episode of. And I'm mad glory into 100 it. grand for a film. I think she made a, she, she traded up there. The She's made a lot of money, good. but whether she'll ever be back. Look, I missed the character. I enjoyed the character in The Mandalorian. She was kick ass and she was fucking good at it. Um, and it, The Mandalorian is going to miss that character. Um, okay. I think what Disney did was wrong. Um, um, but then it, it just sums up the entire thing. It, it sums up cancel culture and it can all get fucked, in my opinion. Okay, all right, fair enough. Nige, can I ask you a question? Do you know who Gina Carano is? I know she was the butch... The, I was going to say the butch fella. The butch girl in uh, The Mandalorian who had a massive gun. Although, as much as I like Gina Carano, she's no Bobby. Oh, Bobby, Bobby so Drake. She's no Bobby. Take her on. Anyway. for Bobby Draper. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to the our expanse. next one. The oh, expanse yes. noise. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's absolutely. Here's Nigel's topic. It is. Ah, oh, no, it's a good idea. <laughs> Godzilla versus King Kong. Kong, you did you watch it? Because I watched I it. I think I, I did. Dude, hang on a minute. Didn't they end up? Lizard. That's what the name of the film was. Didn't didn't um didn't they uh end up teaming up? Against yes, some against other Mecha higher... Godzilla at the end. It was yeah. Against some higher. It was Mecha Godzilla, dude. Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, I don't. Fuck it. Yeah, like Mecha was... Shrizan. Yeah, it was a good film. Good little action flick. It's. <laughs> I I I thought it was good. It was. It, I. It's in the same bag as Venom too. Um, but yes, um, yes, it is definitely. It's it, but it was good. Um, it, it was it, you know. If you Silly want to see a pun. monkey punching a big fucking crocodile or dinosaur, whatever what you want to refer to it, um, that's what it was. And they had this big fuck off fight, and you know, uh, the monkey kicks some ass just as much as Godzilla kicks some ass, and the monkey gets Godzilla by the tail and swings it around. You know, it was it was what it was. And then they they both take on this big fuck off robotic Godzilla. Yeah, but I still uh, wanted the character going, ah, yeah, it's a Godzilla, <laughs> even as he's running past the camera, going, you know. It's um yeah I see I think I I it's it's one of those films it's it it's proper popcorn fast food films yes it to, is, it to, is to much... go back to something we used to do fast I, food it was a proper fast food film yeah I uh, that film I only really remember the fighty bits outside of that I've no clue what happened in that film trust me there is nothing in that movie they 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 they've tried <laughs> characterizations in these films and it just doesn't work I mean I it even... had 11 in it briefly yeah um from from stranger <laughs> no things one... but um uh, you see yeah um I <laughs> I also get that film confused a little bit with Pacific Rim where they're coming out of the ocean floor and the that's no no the... you've got that confused that's big robot punches big lizard yeah Everybody knows that one. It's big robot punches, uh, big lizard. Okay, all right. So, um, oh, it's back to me. My topic. Here we go. And it is what have we got from last year to talk about? We've got a death robot. Okay, so. Um... Love the first Love Death and Robots. I, I really did enjoy it. It was uh, it was something different that, that kind of popped out. Um, this season wasn't as good as the first. I felt um, it had the the scary one with the train, which I thought was really good. With the guys, the train stops in the middle of nowhere, and he says, "Don't get off the train." It gets off the train, it gets tapped by something. That was really uh, that was quite outstanding. Cracking my brain now. I've forgotten all the episodes of Love Death and Robots. He's just gone to that one. 
It did have the... Was it the one where you had the helper droid thing that went mental? Was that in the first season or was that... Um, I think that's the second that season. Second? I think that's the second season. I think that's the second season with the old people when they have the yeah. robot apocalypse. Um, so I'm trying to bring up season two so I can just list the things. So I go, oh, I know what that was. Yeah, that was that was automated luxury care. Then you had the one on the ice, which I wasn't too keen on. You had the pop squad one, where they had to go round and kill off all the unregistered birth people. Tall grass was the one I liked. Um, Snow in the desert, where it's like the guy who's balls, so the only person who works on this desert planet. <laughs> uh, Life hutch, where you had the person who was trapped in the little survival pod and the robot goes mental and tries killing them um downed giant which was the one with about giant and all through the house all through the house remember all through the house with father where they had the, the yes. christmas thing and it's a fucking monster and it coughs up the presents that yes. was great that was great yes. i read to, oh my god it was just like kind of is it because we had like... love we, we had right. love death in robots but there was another thing wasn't there that on Netflix with, with Oates, the Gorny Weaver, which was, yeah, Oates, that was the ones Oates. with the god things in them, wasn't it? That, that yes. was the thing where they had the god sketches, yeah, not Love, Death and the Robots. No, Look, was I, it wasn't yeah. as good, I remember, I know that much. I, season two didn't make as much of a an impression on me as season one, and it was shorter, wasn't it, as well? Okay. Uh, cheers, Nigel, for sorting out that problem for us. Um, good man. Okay, so Love, Death and Robots, second season. Not as good as the first season, but the thing with Father Christmas and Snow and Winter and the stop on the train, really good. So, Keith, your topic. I can't see you. Mortal Kombat! Um, one I watched. I don't think you guys watched it. I think I'm the only one who watched did. it. Out. I, I did, did. No, no, no. We talked about it. Yeah, we talked about it, and I did. Um, I, I've seen it. Um... I enjoyed it. Again, um, it had um, the dude at the beginning who was um, me, um, Ronan. And he was the guy that Ronan kills in the Marvel movies, which was an Easter egg because he played Ronan in the Ronan film. Um, okay. Not the comic book film, the Chinese legend Ronan. Um, he was cool. Um, I quite enjoyed Mortal Kombat. Again, it was very much in the Venom category. Um, it was definitely a fast food film, and some of the acting was, yeah, but it was quite good. <laughs> yeah, I, I I felt it was more honest than, than other things. A bit of Bill has brought up. Um, uh, no tournament equals face palm. Okay, they didn't have a tournament. I, I think it worked. I just I love the fact that they went. Who are the two characters that everyone really likes? And went, oh, Scorpion and Sub Zero. So who was the last fight? Scorpion and Sub Zero. And 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 Sub Zero in that didn't he seem really badass? Mm. He did the thing was just like kind of he like jab someone they bleed out the back he turns it into a sword to then stab them with a game. <laughs> Fucking awesome! That was absolutely I, cool. It was it was ridiculous and fun. But they hinted at a tournament for the second film, which is happening, I believe. I hope it is because I want them yeah. to. I how can I put it uh, to put it through properly because it needed to. It felt that it was done under restrictions. It was felt that it was given. It was given a go because they thought well, I might make some money. We don't know. We'll, we'll hedge our bets and see what happens. I did uh, do it. Yeah, but uh, they, they, yeah, yes. Johnny Cage was hinted at. I was hoping that the main character was going to become Johnny Cage in it. Um, but it looks like they're going to go and meet Johnny Cage at one point. Mm. Um, mm. that was worth watching. I'm gonna have to go and watch. Him. I've got my my. <clears throat> my high seas version of it, I might have to dig out and have another watch soon because I, I kind of miss that. All right, Nige, time for a topic, my friend. And your topic is Army of the Dead. It's not Army of Death. I mistyped that. <laughs> Yay! Army of the it's Dead. A, it's a, Netflix. It's something I know really, really well. Not seen it, mate. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no clue. Not even seen it. Properly, I, I did. I did. I did too. It's Ocean's Eleven meets Zombies. Um, okay. Meets, in um, Vegas. In Ve yeah. It, 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 I, it was good. Although I actually, if I'm being honest, enjoyed its spin-off film a little bit more. Um, 
because I, I kind of liked the the, the spin off. What's it? it? Um, well, hang on. So this is a this is a a heist film. It, so, it, well, it, yes, it, yeah. with zombies. It, yes, yes. <laughs> and it's a spin-off but there's more from going what? on. There's, there's more no, there was a spin off from yeah. this. So oh, there's, there's a, a character in there. So it, the, basically, they've got to go into a casino um, and steal all this money, right? Which is in a vault, okay? But Vegas just so happens to be had a zombie apocalypse going on in 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 Vegas, right? Only Vegas. So they, yeah, only in Vegas. They walled off Vegas, or at least that's what you're led to believe. Okay. Um, it turns out that there there was. Um, other outbreaks, but they contained it all into Vegas, right? So Vegas has got this big fuck-off wall around it, right? And they've got to go into the zone, steal all this fucking money, and get out before the American president decides to nuke Vegas, right? Can can, can I just point point out, it was Aliens. Have you seen the film Aliens, Nigel? Because it was the entire plot to Aliens. They even had the bit where the helicopter abandons them on the roof. The, you what? could argue, you could argue that, it's, but, but it's aliens. I was trying I to explain it. Nigel, but there is a spin-off from that because there's a character in that who is mm-hmm. the safe cracker, and we get his backstory, and his backstory was really was another film, and that had um, Missundi from Game of Thrones um, in it, um, and it was a good film. It was generally good. Army is good. Army of the Dead is good, um, and there's going to be a sequel, and there's some kind of fucking timey wimey bullshit going on there. So there's something else going on there, which is hinted at again in the spin-off backstory prologue. Um, it's interesting. We need the sequel to know what the fucking timey wimey bullshit. If there is, Tom. if there's timey wimey, they say that they it's de- deliberately put in there, and then it's hinted at in the thing. There's some timey wimey fucking bullshit going on. If the doctor comes out the tardis, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but uh... oh, John, I, I've I've been watching the Silent Sea on Netflix, which is the Waters of Mars, and I and every time they hear an anomaly or something, I'm expecting the TARDIS to show up. Um, I just want to say uh, hello to to newbie comics. Thanks for dropping by. Um, yes, I just every time I look at your 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 feed, I'm like, have I got that much money to spend on comics? Because you just like. <laughs> um... I I I used to spend a lot of money on comics. Yeah, it's a lot, a of, lot money. of money. Uh, I need to have have another good watch when we go through. Okay. All right. So that was Army of Dead. That was Nigel. So it's back to me. So my turn. So topics from 2021. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) So this is... How many times did Harrison Ford injure himself? (laughs) That's what this one is. So... I was going to say, I don't think that was released, was it? No, it wasn't released. It was just, it was, Harrison Ford has injured himself. Someone has ballsed something up somewhere, um, and the story's going to be trash. That's all we heard from... And Harrison Ford has now landed his plane on another golf course sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. That was the joke. Where is Harrison Ford landed his plane this week? Is it the 18th (laughs) hole? Look! The way he flies this plane is probably the 19th hole, but... Um, oh, dude, yeah, yeah, off um, oh, God, don't say... Anyway, so, yeah, we had the thing... We had stories of time travel and wormholes and parallel universes and alternate versions of Indiana Jones and Phoebe Waller... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the one I heard, and that's the one that made me cringe because I I'm, I'm, I don't like Phoebe Waller-Bridge at all. Um, she she is not my cup of tea, to say politely, and it makes me worry a little. But um, oh, this film's going to be a disaster, isn't it? It is. It's Kathleen Kennedy's last hurrah and last disaster that we will see on the big screen. Um, not looking forward to it. I'm not, not looking forward, looking we forward to need, it. We don't need another Indiana Jones film. I'm quite happy where it is. If if he was up for it, and if he wasn't such a morose bastard. Right these days, um, and if he was like the Harrison Ford of you know the eighties, the seventies, and the eighties, when you know he was actually fun, um, maybe, Andy maybe, an but 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 he is a morose, mumbling old git that seems to be really not happy with life, um, and you know mumbles up. <laughs> That's how he does most interviews. <laughs> God, I'm my plane on the golf course. <laughs> um, but um, uh, yeah, no. I'm not looking forward to it. Look, oh. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna admit, 
when 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 the first Star Wars movie came out and he walked onto the Millennium Falcon, went Chewie, we're home. I had all the feels, all the member berries. <laughs> then I watched the whole film um, and went, yeah. Um, so no. <laughs> well, do you know what? Bradley Cooper yeah. could do the job. I, I, I agree on that. He could do the job. I just said I don't need another Indiana Jones film, but if he did and he said Bradley Cooper was doing it, I'd probably we've, be a bit more excited. We've got a much better film coming out, talking of that indie-esque films, because we've got mm. an Uncharted movie coming, and that genuinely does actually look quite good. I saw a clip will... the other day. They, they've they done the plane sequence from uh, in <coughs> Uncharted 3. There's a clip yeah. of that out. Yeah, the bit where your cargo falls out the back. Yeah, the cargo comes out the back, and one. he's coming up. The, yeah, and in the game, obviously, you have to climb back in and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And they've they've recreated that in the new film. Um, yeah, it's just such a shame that they didn't use Nathan Fillion. But I like Tom. I would have used Nathan Fillion. Uh, the only I... other person you could have used is Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I, I, I give give Tom Holland a chance. Give him a chance. We'll see. It's, we'll a see. Much younger indie. Hmm. it's a much younger indie. It's a much younger one, isn't every, it? So. Everyone's looking at him going, isn't Mark Wahlberg Nathan Drake? That's what they're doing. That's the worry. Yes, he needs because to that's the age you should be. Anyway. That's the age you should be. And then, um, oh, I've forgotten his name. Sully should be a bit older. He should be a, noticeably older. Noticeably, yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, I think it's your go, Nigel. Ready? Here we go. No, it's mine. Oh, it's yours. Okay. I've done it for you, mate. Ha! Schneider cut. Okay. Okay, so a bit like Batman versus Superman, it's it certainly made of much more sense. Uh, what the fuck was with the black and white? Um, that was beyond pretentious. Um and the four point three bullshit. Um, that pissed me off more than anything. Yeah, that pissed me off. Um, I, yeah, Zach, fuck off. Go, make Army of the Dead movies. They're just better. Look, I I know that there is the, the the these people out there that wanted to see the Snyder cut. I have never been a fan of Zack Snyder's DC universe. I never will be a fan of it. It's not the DC universe as I know it and like it. Um, his Superman was was look. I loved what's his face as Superman, but I didn't like the Superman movies. Um, I liked Ben Affleck as Batman. I think that could have been interesting if you'd done a a a, a version of the Dark Knight. Um, but again. I didn't like how it came across. Um, there were there were some funny moments. There were moments that made much more sense in the in in this film. Um, again, it's a bit like Batman versus Superman. Batman versus Superman. The director's cut makes a lot Snooperman. more Superman. 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 Um, <laughs> Batman uh, uh, versus Superman. Uh, the director's cut, which is effectively the Snyder cut, makes much more sense. Still a shit movie. Um, it's just a more sense movie. Um, the Snyder Cut, the better version of the Justice League, doesn't mean it was good. Uh, okay, I wanted uh, when it came to the Snyder Cut, I wanted to see um, how, how good it was. Yeah, just out of curiosity, just because it was like, oh, I wonder what the director did get his own way because we know that a tragedy hit midway and he didn't get to finish it off. So they had the curiosity. I watched it; it made more sense. It did. It made more sense narratively. The characters felt a bit felt more rounded out. There was a lot of fluff and wank in there that could have been chopped out. He does need someone to to, to sit and go, no guys, don't please don't do this. Um, and then there was some controversy, yeah, because there was um, <sighs> Zack Snyder uh, was on a podcast with a load of people who had raised about a hundred thousand pounds, I think, for a charity that he was running, to which he then disassociated himself with. In the first two minutes of the conversation, so those oh, yeah, people have gone out of the way to yeah. raise the money. That was fucking rude. He should have just kept it was his twatish. Mouth shut and carried on. It was twatish, and again, it's Hollywood really being assholes and trying to look virtuous. Um, and yeah, that was that was that was yeah. that was wankish beyond belief. Actually, look, that was. I don't always agree with geek, geeks and gamers, and there are some people on there that rub me up the wrong way. But you don't do that when they've raised. 
that amount of money for a charity that you yourself support. That was wrong. Yeah. And as Gareth said, it was rude. You could have just it was... sidestepped it. Just you know? ignored it and just, yeah, sidestepped it and carried on. Um, okay, Nige. Here we go. What's Nige got? He's going to get the B5 reboot, isn't he? Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, with yeah, this yeah, one, yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd rather not talk about very much because it could be summed up uh, pretty simply in... Um, it should have shown, literally... It could have been a 10-minute thing where he gone, oh, I've got the shield. Oh, I've got some things. Okay, right, I'm going to be Captain America now. And then that would have been it for 10 minutes. Don't need a series. The whole thing was crap. Uh, even my kids and, and my family didn't want to watch it. It was absolute nonsense. Could have Funny been enough. Could have been just summed up in ten minutes and moved into the next film. Um, I, I do believe it was the worst one out of the. It, it was. We summed it up. We summed it up last week, Gareth. We we summed it up. We talked about we talked about this last week, and Nigel's right. The, the, mm. you, you, I mean, if you were watching last week, you know what I think. Um, it, it can fuck off. So far as I'm concerned, in fact, I think yeah. it's racist. But there we go. Um, they, I, I, um, I think I'm with you too. They could have. Uh, I'm. I'm all for him being Captain America because yes, Cap gave him the shield. Yes, and he is Cap's choice, so he should yeah. be Captain America, hundred percent. What Enough we said. didn't need is all the nonsense prior. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go. Uh, uh, what did he say there? Um, he said it would have been better if we would have watched Sam and Bucky fixing up boats for the entire series. Um, well, it would have been better. Business. I would have been actually that would have he could have done it as a comedy because those two have got superpowers and whatnot, yeah. And he's got his suit, so everyone could be like kind of pushing them, and it's like kind of there's a disaster going on. Don't worry, someone else is dealing with it. We're fine, and we could have played on that kind of angle. And he could have gone, oh but, no, we've run out of fish in our stock. Oh, quick. Tie a rope to my back, I'll fly you out there. It'll pull the fucking <laughs> ship out to where the fish are. Quickly Something. fish, and then fly them back. You know, tie them back real dead quick. Fish I, in I, a day, I, I, sell it. As, I've, as I've, I've, said, I've said before, I think Disney are cheaping out when it comes to writers. They, I don't think they understand the importance of writers. Um, but, okay, we all yeah. agree it's crap. Shall we move on to the next one, yeah? Okay, here we go. It is what have I got? Oh, 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 the Batman trailer. Oh, it the trailers for the Batman look really good, and I'm actually like wanting to see this film. Mm. I really am. This is uh, uh. <laughs> This is uh, really good. I, I'm I'm hoping it's good. I really am because if it's not good, then they've done a really good ad job advertising it to me. He he look, he, the guy that's playing him is a bit emo, and you know, forget the Twilight movies. He was genuinely good in Tenet. He was genuinely good in Tenet. Um, <laughs> so he could be good in this. I'm kind of looking forward to them doing a serious version of the Riddler. I've I've wanted to see the Riddler done properly for fucking ages. There you go, Chuck. Um, um, but I, I have. I wanted to see them. To, uh, fuck a meter will be um, <laughs> <laughs> my kind of fuck a meter and and the one you're referring to two different things. Um, but um, <laughs> uh, should we just go fuck fuck any fuck fuck fuck? There we go. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I think mine. this could be good. I think this could be good. Um, I, I think yeah. this could be good. I, I think it could be good too. I'm hoping it is. It's got Andy Serkis as uh, Alfred. Um, Colin Farrell as the Penguin looks like he is acting his bollocks off. Yeah, he really looks like he's acting his bollocks off, which is a good thing. And I can see why they've put a lot of him in the trailers. Um, Zoe Kravitz... <sighs> She's an actress that always has that I can't be bothered look on her face. I don't know why she gets work. But hey ho, um Kathleen Kennedy's got a uh, thing. Keaton uh, sorry. Oh yeah, okay. They're gonna they're gonna try it, Chuck, mate. They're gonna try it. You're gonna see that at one point or another. 
Um, they will try it on. Okay, so uh, Batman trailer looks good. Hope the film's going to be good. Um, Keith, time for a spin. And it is... Oh, you got to be favourite with Robin and Nige. Um, okay, so the fact that JMS is doing this lends a tiny bit of hope. Um, but I've thought about this long and hard. It's a series I don't want them to reboot because it's a series that's near and dear to my heart. Um, if they'd gone back and said, right, we're going to remaster it all and did what they did with Next Gen and gone in and, and done the effects and spend the money on doing the effects and keeping the original acting, that would have been better for me. They are going with John Sheridan right from the offset. Um, so God knows what that's going to do. I I don't know. I don't know because those characters are so damn good, you know, and, and, and Susan of Oliver, just, just, you know, to me, one of the, yeah. the, the most powerful underrated women in sci-fi. Um, and her speech is the best goddamn sci-fi speech ever fucking done. Um, and, uh, sorry, drama, sorry, drama, but it is, you know, God sent me. Sorry. You didn't finish that. If you'd gone, you know, God sent me. Okay. We would have been up there, but, um, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I, I've got very mixed feelings about it. Very mixed feelings about it. I don't same, know if you agree here. with me. For, mm. for me, one is being redone on the CW and you and the ambassador said to me, the only thing that's comforting is they've done the Lois and uh, Lois and Superman show. That, that's been good. That has genuinely been good to the point that I'd say he is the best on-screen Superman since what's his face. So, um, and yeah, it genuinely, I've I've enjoyed Lois and Clark. Um, that has yeah. been very good. So, Bilfer brought up a point that um, the CW's looking at selling, uh, being sold on to someone at the moment. So. Yeah, there's jokes about turning the CW lot into flats because it'll make more money for them, <laughs> which is the truth. Um, I don't. I'm worried that it's not going to happen now at all. But that might be a good thing. That might be a good thing. We don't might, might not want to see um, uh, Sheridan with pronouns and rainbow hair because um, that yeah. would be dreadful. I'm still uh, part. Uh, part of me, I have the morbid curiosity wanted about to see it, but I have the other part of it. We don't fucking make it. Not now. Not now. I, I, not while we're okay, in this. Part of this, me this wants to see thing. it with a budget and effects and you know if it looks like the expanse yeah that could be awesome yeah. you know um if the, the long and short of it is all it has to do is look like the expanse for the for the thing to work right for me that's mm. all it has to do it looks like mm. the expanse and i'm fine um but that's not the thing it, worried so that's the, let's get past this and go to our next one so uh, it's Nigel's turn i think what we got for Nigel? We have one that he doesn't know anything about. So uh, <laughs> I know what right. it is. Well, he okay, might let like. me let, let me recap the story for you. Okay, um, it starts off on Twitter because every bit of internet drama always starts on Twitter for some reason. Kevin Smith is having a go at a couple of YouTube creators who've got a um, how can I put it? A person in the background saying, "Hey." Masters of the Universe isn't going to feature um, He-Man, which is stupid because it's always called He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So they're going to do it, and it's all going to feature around Teela because it has to, everything has now has to be woman centric, um, regardless of characterization, storytelling, or anything like that. Um, he he said, "No, no, no, you're talking bullshit." Series airs, everyone finds out is they were telling the truth. Kevin Smith then looks like a massive fucking arsehole for all for the world to see uh, and has destroyed pretty much all his credibility. Second season or second part of the He-Man series airs and no one gives a shit. Doesn't even make top 10, doesn't get advertised, nothing happens. It just, oh, it was on. That was it. I, so I'm, that was the Masters Universe thing. I'm going to say this. I, I used to be a huge, huge Kevin Smith fan, but since his heart attack, he's turned into a wanker. I'm sorry, but he has... Um, still he's become you. really okay. stupidly woke and to the point where he has become stupidly woke. Um, 
uh he's a vegan you know he's all the, the this crap and it 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 is just he's lost his balls i'm sorry he's hard he didn't have a heart well, attack he had a balls attack well they reckon I mean that, that this is, go on from armchair doctors reckon that because the way he's dropped off on his food and everything and he's gone on to think he's fucked with his hormones that's why he cries at everything well he always used to cry though yeah, but he not as badly as he does now. No, no. I mean, I, I think he. Uh, it's not the crying that bother that, that bothers me. Well, the, uh, crying. the crying. I, I don't really care about that. It's it, it, it. You know that that thing he made when in the pandemic, in the lockdown, and and tried to make his daughter's boyfriend, you know, popular, and the guy just needs a punch in the face. And he's one of these oh, really see- typically wrong LA Californian kids on Facebook that is nauseatingly annoying. And all I want to do is grab the kid and slap him and say, no, no, um, you know, or smack his nose kind of thing. He's that annoying. Um, the dude's lost touch with his fan base. The dude has lost touch with his fan base. And that's very, very sad, actually. Yeah. Um, and the Masters of the Universe thing was just a huge misjudgment um, on so many goddamn levels. You know, you, you don't take a character like He-Man and kill him off in the first episode. That's not subverting expectations. That's fucking dumb. Yeah, no, it is dumb. <laughs> uh, he, 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 he probably complained about Star Wars, them killing off Han Solo, this, that, and the other. Han Solo shooting first in the fucking cafeteria. It's not his cafeteria now. It's been downgraded. Um, so yeah, okay, all right. Let's. Uh, uh, the, uh, oh good my god, bye, Kevin Smith. It was nice to know Kevin, you. Kevin. I had to Google him because uh, I couldn't quite picture who he was. He's named his daughter Harley Quinn. Oh yeah, but that was uh, back in the day. That was cool because he was a huge Batman fan. Yeah, yeah. But his daughter's okay. a nauseating. This is yours, Gareth. Uh, it's my one. Okay, what we got? Survey says, I've got Star Wars The High Republic. Oh, do you remember this? You had a co-pilot that was a rock called Geode, a ship called The Vessel, and it was totally uninspired. Uh, It's just, it was like, do the old Republic, get the Bioware people in. Get things that people love. The bio where people would put the old Republic together did such a good job that George Lucas went, that's canon. That's how good it is. It's canon. This, it's like, remember they had the, the, the board up and, and before they had anything like kind of the force or lightsaber battles, or I think they had like diversity and dinosaurs. Oh yeah, because that's what springs to mind when they see Star Wars. Dinosaurs. Not spaceships, dinosaurs. Oh, get these motherfucking dinosaurs off this motherfucking spaceship. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that was Doctor Who. <laughs> that was actually Doctor Who. That's, oh, shit. They can't even they can't even make up their own shit right. Well done. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Extra nerd point to Nige. Yes, I was about to say, point. fuck me. <laughs> I, am, I am on fire. We're not worthy, Nige. We're Wait. not worthy. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe I remembered something? Yes, I'm, I, I am amazingly impressed. That's because it's so to... bloody random. So <laughs> bloody random to have dinosaurs on a ship. That's the, the only ship, reason yeah. why I remember it. Written by our beloved Chris Chibnall, that episode, I'll have you know. The greatest writer that Doctor Who never fucking wanted. Um... Chris Chinballs. <laughs> the Doctor! Yeah. Lesbian relationship! Yes. All because he saw it on Twitter. So, going back to to, to 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 star wars they are making a game from quantic dream the people who did detroit become human uh heavy rain um uh the one with the helen page sim ellen page simulator when she was ellen page um that was the, that they're making it the game a game based on the high republic i think it's going to be shite i think this thing's going to die a horrible death uh, and will be forgotten um and that's where we'll leave that so keith Time for you. Now, Keith is the perfect education. person to talk about sex education. <laughs> what are Not... you implying? Um, I, I enjoyed it. 
I know it was annoying. It was, I bet you did. Uh, it was places, good. but I enjoyed it. I've not seen it. The, okay, all right. So the thing about sex, the first thing you need to know about sex education, it's not really about it. Sex education, the sex part of it is just to, as a lure. Yeah, teenagers are not having as much sex as they are in, in, in the TV show, but they are having lots of relationships like they are in a TV show, and then certain things then lead to other things, which then when they grow up, because it's, it's, it's an age thing, and it's weird because it's kind of, it's British with a with an American veneer on for the high school and whatnot. Um, it was good. I, I found it quite emotional. Um, a bit with the baby at the end, where Julian Anderson um, convinced her current lover who had a vasectomy um, that the baby's his, and it turns out it's her fucking ex-husband's. Um, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh, that was good. Uh, Otis and it was fine. Um, his mate, oh, what's his mate called? The black fuck one. The, oh. the flamboyant gay one from Nigeria. Well, his parents yes, from Nigeria. I've, I've from completely Nigeria. forgotten, but I liked his Otis. story in this. Oh, Otis. Otis. Oh, I can't remember. No, Otis is the main one. I can't remember his name. The long and the short, he, he was a bit of an asshole towards um, Thingy Bob because he wanted to be gayer, I suppose. Eric. Oh, that was the Eric. That was it. Eric. Eric was a bit of an asshole in this one. Um, it's the closest thing to the British version of Cobra Kai, but instead of fighting, it's got fucking. He was, but there was reasons why he was, and that didn't, didn't work for me. With most people, no, it didn't it, work it for worked. me. Either. I didn't. Mm. Mm. If okay. Walsh's mission had done something wrong, then I probably would have been more up for it. But he'd been. He he was he he was coming out at a slower rate. He was coming out as gay at a slower rate than Walsh's mission. You know. Kind of probably yeah. need someone to help him through, but he did, did seem to um, team up with a Latino fellow from not Latino, he's a fucking Mediterranean fellow. Sorry, it's the wrong part of the world. Um, yes, so that might work out for that. But it was it was good watch. Um, but as I said, it's more about intimacy than than sex. Sex is the thing that pulls you in, so you know mm. what's going on. All right, Keith, time for a spin. This is Nigel's. 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 What's Nigel's? Nigel's? Is it? The Suicide Squad. Um, the Suicide Squad. So, uh, you haven't seen the Suicide Squad, have you? Yeah, I saw it. Um, I don't know if there was two. Was there two? There was yes, there was two. There was the the one with um, Idris Elba and uh, oh, the wrestler. I liked, I I liked the uh, the one with Idris in it. That was yes. better than the other one. Yes, it was. I I I really enjoyed it. It felt really silly, fun, and enjoyable. Again, what was it, the film? Probably the out of all the films that I've described as as and silly and fun, this is the one I'll probably go back to and watch again. Um, but it was Peter it felt it, Peter Capaldi as the thinker. It was quite yeah, good. Wasn't it? It. Yeah, I liked him. Peter was in it. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I like. You need to get more work. I, I wouldn't say this was a throwaway film. I actually genuinely thought this was probably one of the best things they've done in the DCEU. Um, yes. And and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, no, I thought it was very good. Um, I want to see more of that. Um, obviously, yeah. he's going back to doing um, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and the holiday special, which is going to be interesting. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Because if they it's really lay Star into... Wars the... holiday. Star Wars they are doing special. a Guardians of the Galaxy three holiday oh. special for next year, or this okay, year. Okay, that's this fine. Year. I thought yes. it was going to do a Star Wars piss take out of the original one. It, it is a piss take out of the Star Wars holiday um, holiday special, but in the Guardians universe is what we're being told. We don't know anything about it other than it's been announced, and then we get Guardians of the Galaxy in twenty twenty three. So. Um, I am kind of looking forward to this because I think it could be interesting. And we do know that the Star Wars holiday special is canon um, because of the no, first no, 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 no. That the life the day exists. Day, hang on a second. The Star Wars holiday special doesn't exist. And if George Lucas finds that you got a copy of it, he will destroy it in front of you. <laughs> but that has been but he has the Mandalorian quoted life day. But the Mandalorian quoted life day. So. Um, yeah, it's it. Yeah, um, I I liked this film. I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's move on to the to the next one, and that is 
for me. I, forgot, I, I was taking part in the moment. It is. <laughs> okay, so um, I would describe Foundation as the uh, the driest science fiction I have ever ever watched ever. It's a bit. Um, it's, what it could be shrunk down to four hours worth of TV, and you would have got exactly the same output for it. Um, I hate the Harry Sheldon character. I just want to slap her around a bit because she doesn't look like she can act. She's just got this constant surprise. Oh my god, I've got an acting job on her face. There's a woman in the UK does uh, act an advert for her, um panty liners and uh it's probably the worst job you could get because it's like she coughs and this little wheel just like this one spins around and turns around and goes okay now you've coughed what is it you got a bit of discharged blood or have you accidentally peed yourself to which it is you've accidentally peed yourself yeah and i'm like that poor girl has that shit job but somehow the woman who did thingy got that job I don't know how that works. Life doesn't seem very fair. It had um, Jared Harris in it, or Harold Jarris in it. He was his name good. Is. I he liked him good. in it. You had the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy who played Ronan the Accuser. He was all right in it. He needed more. He could he could Replace. clearly act whatever you threw at him, which was great. Um, yeah, that was it. Was interesting. <sighs> The the dynamic between the clones was interesting, and that's not lifted from the book, and and that genuinely was quite an interesting topic. It went on way too long. You're right. I think they could have condensed that down into five fucking episodes, um, and 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 the story would have not lost anything. The one thing they did do was they had a really irritating bad woman who they killed spectacularly and very satisfyingly. And a lot of shows don't do that these days, you know, and 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 that oh, was, yes, you know, are. Joffrey levels of satisfaction um, when she gets an arrow through the fucking neck. <laughs> it was generally going, yes, the bitch is dead. <laughs> and um, on that positive, um, I'm say, and yeah. I think on that positive note, we should, we should move on because, uh, no, not a big fan. Your topic, Keith. You've got. You've got chuckle vision. Chuckle, chuckle vision, chuckle vision. <laughs> um, to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, no it was shit. Sorry, I, I, I have always voiced. The, I think you liked it more than I did, and you didn't like it that much. I genuinely didn't like it. I, I thought it was shit. I thought it was. Um, bait and switch. Um, um, no, no, it's not Chuckle Vision. It's Chuckle Vision. Um, I have to send you a clip of Chuckle Vision. It was a children's TV show. Selfishly we marketing with. there. Shamelessly is, marketing. Uh, that, 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 that's worse than the shameless plug. Um, that is worse than the shameless plug. Do I need to put him in timeout? Yeah. You can put him in, <laughs> if you want to put it in timeout. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know he's laughing. Um, but uh, no, just no. I didn't like it. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I, it, right. I, I really the didn't thing like with it. it was, yeah, it was it was the bit when they turned around and said Quicksilver isn't from the Marvel uh, the the Fox universe. That was the bit because if they had left him in there, I think we all would have gone, "Ooh, possibility. We like that. You've opened a door up. Something can happen." Um, then they had the stupid thing where she would imprisoned an entire town, keeping the parents away from the children, not allowing people to use the toilet or get fed or something. And, and Monica Rambeau, the hero of the story, was supposed to go, I shouldn't really do that. Yeah. And she went, no, that she, no one will know the pain that you went through. To which she should go, no one will know what the pain that you went through, but you still did the wrong thing. Mm. But hey, it's one of those things. Um yeah, it's uh, it's fun. Um, okay, let's move on to our next one. And if Foundation comes up, I'll, I'll, I'll kick it off. And it is... Oh, I'll hide that. Let's go again. Sorry. We've got three topics left, guys, and we've done the year. Night Kids. <laughs> Night Kids June! Have you seen it, Nige? Have you seen no. it? Well, to be honest with you, um, out of the three, I'd only know about one of them. So 
it wasn't a good chance that I would get something. <laughs> that one, do you know that one's in there for you? That that Microsoft by Bethesda is your topic. Well, I won't so, get it now. Keith, do you want? Do you want to? Yeah, I'll you won't do get June. No, Keith, I, you do June. I genuinely, genuinely enjoyed this movie. Um, I think it is the standout movie of the year. Um, I think it is a seriously grown-up sci-fi movie, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I've seen it a couple of times more. Um, I am so fucking glad that they're making the second part um, because they need to. Um, but no, I, I, I it, it, to say it, I had fun, it isn't. It's a grown-up sci-fi movie, and it's a serious grown-up sci-fi movie. Um, but for me, it was the movie of the year. It, it stand out performances, brilliant directing, and 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 the cinematography in this thing was just mind blowingly good. Um, I I I respect this film on so many levels. Um, but uh, that's for well, me. A... I, I like how he incorporated the important parts of the book. You could argue there was a few things missing, um, but for me, I like this was my my movie of the year. Yeah, it was. It was. It, I don't think. It's, don't think it's my movie of the year. I think. I think Spider Man's just about to pip it. I just need to wake up. Oh yeah, technically, okay, that was in. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. That's you're right. December. I agree yeah. with you. Spider Man just pips it. I think it was really done. It was made really well, acted really. Well, everything. It just felt proper quality all the way through, um, which was fantastic. Because you look at the special effects and stuff in it, and they look almost real. Um, and my most annoying bit about it was the fact that it was, and Bill has pulled this out because he knows I'll, I'll always have fun this when we talk about doing it's half movie. Did feel like no Lord of the Rings when you watched Lord of the Rings, um, and and it had the you knew that the next two movies were coming, yeah, which mm. was fantastic. And the problem I've got is I wasn't sure if the second part was coming. I could have sat there for another couple of hours and been quite happy because it was entertaining me and keeping me, you know, in, I, in the I, merged watched... in the world. I've watched it again since knowing now that we've got the second part and I've seen it a couple of times since and I've liked it more each time. Um, knowing the book and 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 seeing... It, it, it was just very well done. Uh, and the guy that made it, you can tell he's got real love of the book and, and he put love into that. Um, I can't wait for the second part because the second part is where it all really gets... When yeah, so for me, it's the second part. I will, mm. I, I, will, I will posthumously judge this by the second part, if that makes any sense. Because if the second part fucks up the whole thing, this movie was shit. Because it wasn't leading anywhere, if that makes any sense. But yeah. if it leads somewhere and it pays off, this film's fine, if that makes any sense. So, All yeah. right, the so last one is me. It should be... It should be Ted Lasso. It has <laughs> Right. I'm still going to spin it on the last for, for night. Um, right, so Ted Lasso. Um, my, one of my favourite TV shows this year. I don't know if it beats Cobra Kai. I think the first season beats the current season of Cobra Kai, but the second season, Ted Lasso, doesn't beat the current season of Cobra Kai. So as a TV show, the one that I watched and enjoyed the most was this. Okay, admittedly, I was ill when I watched it. Um <laughs> But I'm glad was, after months of telling you to watch it, you did. And I'm even more glad that you enjoyed it. It was because um, it was on Apple bloody TV. Do you know how hard it is to I select get, another get, app on your streaming uh, service? Apple Apple TV, it, the and app is across, appalling. Um, and then I've got to sign in. And then you sign in uh, and it's like, now you've got to go to the iPad and get a com confirmation code. So why can't you just email me a confirmation uh, code, you uh, bastards? It, look, nobody does streaming as well as Netflix. It, even Amazon here, especially here, isn't great. Um, but um, no, I, I love Dead Lasso. I, I think the first season is better than the second season overall as a story. But there's some standout moments in season two that are just fantastically good. Um, um I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is. It's, 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 it's real. It's, it's, I, I, I wouldn't describe, I, as, as I said, I think I just reviewed it. I said, it's not a great comedy, but it is a nice, it's a wonderful show. But there isn't a category for nice TV shows. It's, it's, it's in the, it's, it, it's in that Scrubs thing because Scrubs was kind of like that. 
Um, okay, Scrubs was a bit more zany, um, but it is Scrubs had its moments of you know serious drama, and it's the same guys behind it. Um, I love the Roy Kent character. The Roy Kent character just creases oh, like me Roy up. I, I liked the Sky Sports bits were just fucking hilarious, and the fact that you had the real. You know, you had the guy playing, you had an actor playing the arsehole, but then you had what's his face, N- Nigel. Who's the Sky commentator with the tash and the 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 the, the Kamara. Chris Kamara? Yeah, brilliant in this. Um, and uh, you know, every time Roy Kent says effing and jeffing, Chris Kamara cracks up, and and you know that was real. You you know, I, mm. I almost feel that they didn't tell Chris Kamara what Roy Kent was going to say. So when Chris Kamara reacts. It, it's real, and I think that's true. I think they didn't tell him. I don't think there was a script, um, except Chris Grim Kamara had one line to say, and then Roy Kent would just go, "Ah, oh, he played like fucking shit," you know, and that was brilliant. I mean, genuinely. Um, and then Roy Kent uh, hugging, you know, what's his face after the father thing, which was genuinely emotional. Yes. Um, so that's the and... thing; it was really nice because he was yeah. doing a good thing, and that's the th- that's what I could, that's what I found so enjoyable as a comedy. I didn't laugh that that I, I laughed every so often, but it wasn't like I was I was clutching my sides like watching an episode of Coupling. I um, pissed myself laughing when when. When what uh, what's his face says that he still fancies his girlfriend, but because he'd done something, Roy Kent gets you know gets the angry face, and he, and I knew he was going to do it because I was always going fuck and walks away because it's a yeah it goes that through. was what brilliantly you... funny. Oh, yeah, and I love it. He walks away. He goes, "What did you do? I fucking forgave him." <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I forgave him like that, and it's like, oh, okay. And, and, and everything with his with his niece is brilliant. Every scene oh, I love with the his niece. That she got a pound every time he swore in front of her. She'd always had enough for an iPad. Um. I, 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 Roy Kent, Kent is mostly the comic relief in it, and that's what makes it. For, and that's possibly why I love Roy Kent's character and the football chart. He's here. He's there. He's every fucking where. Roy Kent. I'm singing that as he comes on. Uh, I, I love it. I love it. I think Ted Lasso is brilliant. What? Well, do you want to hear something fun? You want something fun, funny about that? Yeah, and um, the guy who plays Roy Kent uh, was originally drafted to be the writer on it, um, and he, and is, then they, he, he went to write the character. Yeah. The downside is he can't play football for shit, so they yep. had to get him off the pitch as soon as possible because he's like kind of I can write stories and do jokes, but I can't play football. <laughs> He he is a he is a writer on the show, but again, very funny. But then so is um Beard, Coach Beard, isn't like Coach Beard was the chief. He's the one yeah. of the creators behind yeah. him. So yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, Nige. Here we go. Hang on, last one. I wonder what it could be. There is one. Know, is. I I don't know. What could it be? The suspense is killing me. It's. Oh my god! I never would have guessed that Microsoft bought Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Microsoft by bought Bethesda. But unexpected. Really? I think well, I can't remember what the price tag was, but I thought it was too much. Yeah, I really I thought it was, it was too in the much. billions, wasn't it? It was one it or was two like... billion, something like that, or six. I don't know. Let's have, let's have a quick it look. Was, for it was the a, price lot, that. a lot of money, and they got all the IPs. And we were guessing at the time that it's likely any games going forward probably only going to be on the Microsoft platform. And uh, I think we're right on that. Uh, I, I don't know because I think that that the well, the next um, Elder Scrolls is only going to be on Microsoft. Is it? Because I know that they were talking about doing one game, and they were saying they're going to put it on on uh, the PlayStation because they couldn't afford not to put it on there, um, just as a as a money thing. Um, but it was seven point five billion, where I thought they probably spent three billion more than they should have. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the down the, the annoying the annoying thing behind it was I was expecting them to fix a lot of things, and one of them being Fallout seventy six, and they don't look like they have. Um, but we don't know what's going on in, in in the future in regards to this. It's it's a bit on. I find it a bit on the weird side because you you like weird because Sony if. Um, what do you call it? It's only bought up and coming game studios. Mm. So instead of buying something already established, that's kind of—I'll be honest with you—it was on a, it was on a downhill trajectory ever since '76. Yeah, the only thing that was going for it was probably Doom Eternal, um, and it was like a downhill trajectory. But they've got their entire back catalogue. So if you've got Games Pass, 
pretty much got all that stuff on the yeah. back. Yeah, oh, uh, which is good. Starfield, I think, is Starfield. I'm thinking of um, Starfield is only on Microsoft, I believe. We'll have to check because it's it's one of those things because I I because it was mm, yeah it's a money thing because at the moment yeah. I think it was they were expecting the 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 Xbox X series to sell as more than it has done. <laughs> And the downside yeah. is you need to get it into the fucking hands of people. Long short of it, get it to people, and then they can do stuff with it. Yeah. All right. I think we've done here. I think there we is, have... There well, is one thing we haven't covered. The Expanse was Season 5 was 2021. Most of it. We're going to talk about The Expanse next week in graphic detail, along okay. with Boba Fett. So I was trying to keep those ones away. Anything kind of December I'm keeping away. So on that No, note, not season six, season five. No, 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 even season five. Yeah, we can talk about season five then. We can talk the whole thing. But all we have to remember about season five is it goes like this, yeah. Marcus and Aris tax Earth, yeah. First three episodes, fucking awesome. Uh, and then Kaz Anvar gets fired. So everything goes to shit after that, and we get poor Naomi being tortured for however long it went on for um, because, hey, that's what we do. Um, but wait, that's one of those things. So, guys, um, wave at the camera like it's a 1980s game show and we'll catch you later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Right. Uh, da, da, da.